Um, what was your uh, inspiration and motivation for this particular piece? Well, I've always been passionate about studying Asian cultures. I have a cousin that lives in Japan, and that kind of kick-started it for me when I was a child. Um, I lived in South Korea for a while, and I, and I had fun over there, but I've always just been really drawn to Japan because I'm an artist, and they tend to really care about art and philosophy a great deal in their culture, and especially with geishas. Geishas are not like prostitutes, like how they get portrayed in Western media. They're actually considered like a moving flower arrangement. They are meant to be an artwork in the room if you're having a fancy banquet. So I thought uh, geisha is the embodiment of like a moving piece of artwork. But what also inspires me is the fact that um, in Japanese culture, they have this philosophical concept known as the floating world, uh, where everything is temporary. And they seem to be melancholy about this, but I take this in stride because this is really cool. We can enjoy it in the present moment. The rain will wash it away and it will be gone forever, but it is all about right now. We don't know if we're going to have Yeah, that'd be great. All of that culminated together. Autumn's my favorite season, so I gave her a kimono themed with maple leaves and um, some silver kind of brocade looking streams I tried to highlight with the white. And um, she has a gold obi and uh, it has kind of like this sort of geometric designs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I love green, so there it is. Okay. all that together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, as far as uh, what is your motivation and inspiration to create this overall? Um, well, I've, I've just been drawn to art since I was a child. My mom is an artist, she's okay. a prolific artist in this town, and um, I've always had a really hard time expressing myself. I have autism. Um, sometimes it, I really don't know what my place in the world is because I feel like having autism I, I don't do well in job settings and it just makes me feel like the world wants me to exist to work but I try to challenge that every day by making my existence about creating and making the world a prettier place for people. That is beautiful. If the world says that they don't have a place for you, you carve out your own place. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That is absolutely it. Yeah. Now, another question. Uh, what is your vision for a creative community? What I want is I want this to be a place where people come from all over the world because we've got something that nobody else has. And I don't I don't know what that looks like yet, but I know that we've got enough creative people here to make that happen. We've got a lot of rich history and culture. Um, even even though some of it might have come from a terrible place. Like the slavery brought over a lot of beautiful cultural influences that we would not have if that horrible thing had not happened. And um, I just believe that <laughs> For Colombia to be a better place for the arts, we have to really rally our politicians to um, to care about this. We have to let them know why it's important. Like they're cutting art programs in schools and music programs, and you know whether somebody's good at art or not, the practice of art is healthy for your mind. Um, we live in a stressful world where it feels like you know people just want us to do utilitarian things, and they don't realize that the necessity of creativity is to help ease your mind of that, to take a step back and appreciate things. I want Colombia to be a place where people don't talk about the hardships but appreciate things and see the beauty um, in our natural world and, and what society is capable of. Because right now it's people complaining about the rates of homelessness, it's people complaining about how we're like 50th in the, like, the nation for education. Um, it's a place where people can smile, but then at the same time they go home and they're like, oh, it's not good to live here. I want this to be a place people are proud of and have a reason to be proud of. And I think that we have that, we just got to put it into action. Thank you for your answers and your time and your contribution of beauty. I do appreciate it. Thank you. I feel like I rambled a little bit. No, no, you gave me what I, you gave me exactly what I asked for and exactly what I